Rivals that go head to head. Match 10, HBL, PSL, doesn't get any bigger than this. Kalanders versus the Kings. Shine Shah Freedy's men against Sean Massoud's men from the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. Well, they watched the toss around about 20 minutes ago, and it was uh, Sean Massoud who called right, won the toss, and decided to have a bowl first. Lahore batting again. Lahore calendar with two changes. Shai Hope comes in. A little bit of stability in the middle order as well as Sun Bhatti. The left arm spinner on this surface, I reckon, will have a big role to play. We've got ace attack with Shaheen, Harris and Zaman. And opening is started with Saibzada Farhan, Fakhar Zaman and Dasan. The Karachi Kings going with the same side that beat the Zelmi. And their last match, I'm going to the skip. He'll be after some runs later on this evening, but it'll be about the bowlers and getting the job done early tonight. Irfan Khan, Niazi, Daniel Sams, Hassan Ali, Mir Hamza. I've been really impressed with Mir Hamza. They opened with Shav Malik the other night. Maybe they'll do the same in uh, tonight's encounter as well, particularly with Fakhar Zaman on the other side, the left-handed option. All set to go then. All the talking done. Who can produce tonight? Will it be the Kalanders or will it be the Kings that come out on top? Players a call, Richard Illingworth. Decent start. Nice length. Cut away. And gets a boundary off the last ball. Poor way to finish by Mir Hamza. One over gone, five without loss. Down. It's gone high. It's gone very high. What a catch. Sean Massoud, what a catch. What a start. You could see the agitation by Fakhar Zaman. Just the dancing shoes on for Fakhar was nowhere near the pitch of the delivery. Just went through the shot. It got the elevation, not the distance. And Sean Masood, calm as cucumber, important one. Gone on six, Fakhar Zaman, that's a big wicket. Lahore, one down on nine. Nice shot. Good timing as well. Really good feet. Quick. And that's intelligent batting from Dustin. That's not a dot. That's a half volley put away by Van der Dusen. The length. Previous deliveries. The length was really good. Has he misstumped him? Has he misstumped him? Or oh, now nah, he has misstumped him. It's a wide. It's given a wide. So he didn't brush the pad and deflect. It's a missed opportunity. First one for Shamsi. He needed this and he's gotten it. And he's got his countryman who reviews it. In line, impact in line and wicket's umpire's call. Uh, stay with the decision out, wait for the call. Right decision being made. The ball kept a little low and a scratchy innings from Van der Dusen comes to an end. It's 40 for 45 for two. Good shot there. Right from the middle of the bat, Sean Masoud has been really good, couldn't stop that one. If you keep bowling straight at stumps, they are always in the game, and you always pick out wickets like that. That is perfect length and line, and there you go, Hassan Ali picking up a third wicket here. Lahore in deep trouble. The ball is rising a little bit, that hard length. Couldn't rise the bounce. Ride the bounce, an easy catch for Karen Pollard at the boundary. Esan Bhatti has to go for eight. Lahore, 54 for three. 
Oh, Jahandad, plenty of that, please. Gone about three or four metres over the boundary, but that's what he's been sent out to do. <laughs> Skidding straight on, six and out, Illingworth agrees. 11 seconds, 10 seconds. And they're going upstairs. Ball did spin, spin sharply. Oh. It's a no ball, it's a no ball, it's a no ball. Uh, you want, yeah, you want spin, signal, no ball, no ball, clear. Well, we will uh, find out shortly whether it was actually hitting the stumps or not, but first and foremost, Debrez Shamsi has made the cardinal error for any bowler, let alone a spinner who only takes a few steps. Farhan has picked up his strike rate as well. Oh, that is really clever. Sabzada Farhan went, looked one way, went the other. How many times do we see that from Big KP? He's done it again. And he knows it. And he's so cool about it. We've been just waiting for a best catch. We've seen plenty of catches going down. Yes. First contact on the field of play. Still, still OK, still OK. Yeah, thrown the ball inside. Still OK. Went outside, came back. Came back oh. and yeah, I made my decision on the big screen. Karen Pollard, such a good fielder, such a good deep fielder. Brilliantly taken, Jahandad Khan gone for 12. 90 for 4 Lahore. Out towards deep mid wicket, wideish long on, and the 100 comes up with that boundary from the bat of Shea Hope. Finally, he gets a good connection. It was there to be hit. With the angle, it's easy to pick and go leg side. And that might be four more. Brilliance. Last couple of balls from Shea Hope. Enough, enough. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, from Shea Hope. And every time a player hits a six, KFC will reward and award a higher education scholarship to a deserving student. This comes through the KFC Higher Education Scholarship Program. And there goes another one, courtesy of Shea Hope. What about this one? It's in the air. Malik coming under it. Can he grab that? Yes, he can. Big wicket once again. Shamsi among the wickets. Little bit expensive. But picking up his second. The much needed wicket. Chai Hope wanted to go straight down the ground for another maximum. This time a little slower through the air, Shamsi, and put the length back. Malek usually safe pair of hands. A good quick fire 21 from Chai Hope. He's gone back. 114 for four. For five. Does he get enough of it? Does he get enough of it? Yes, he does. A little bit short from Hassan Ali. Nicely played, but is it too much? Is good catch from Sam Shamsi. Big scalp in the contest of the game. Sikandar Raza, who has been in brilliant form. And it takes a blinder to send him back to the pavilion. Sakandaraza gone without scoring first ball, 121 for six. Beautiful. What a way to bring up third 50 this season in four games. Three fours and three sixes. Sabzada Farhan is looking really good. He's got a great national T20 tournament. He's cashing on the form. Third 50 in four games, and this one, one of the most important ones. What a way to get off the mark. 
George Linder powered down the ground. It's a good over for the Calanders. 13 from it. Does he get enough? All the way. Four sixes. Full toss. Good start to the over. There again, tried that Yorker. Hit down the ground with power again. Given a boundary, another good over so far. Pace off, gets it up and over. The two men that are up in the circle, much needed boundary. Into the 160s. Into the surface, gets enough of it, out the park. Another six. They're finishing the innings off well here, the Calanders. Last delivery. Fall straight down the ground. Don't see that very often. Misfield, Kyron Pollard. Big over, 18 runs from it. Partnership 54. And the Calanders get to 175 for six from their 20 overs. It was the Karachi Kings who won the toss, decided to put the Calanders into bat. They were struggling at one stage at 90 for four. And Farhan with his 72 of 45. Van der Dusen 26 from 23. Nice little innings from George Lindo with his 26 from 13, and when the Calanders got to 175 for six. Pick of the ball, uh, bowlers, Hassan Ali, two for 29, Mir Hamza, two for 31. Shamsi a bit expensive, but a couple of wickets for him as well. Total set then, 176. The Karachi Kings will require to win this rivalry. All right. Those two men with uh, a job to do. Sean Masood. Akhlaq as well. And we uh, out in the middle. Yeah, might start with a wide, but I don't mind that length. Oh, beautifully timed. It was the one that came back in. He was looking to find the front pad of Sean Masood, but only found the middle of the bat. Look at the head position. Plays within himself, that's why the balance is so good. Chance, no, not. Too straight, and good enough. Mohamed Akhlaq picks up a boundary. All he had to do was cross the inner circle. What He, he managed to do that really well this time. It's pulled beautifully. Went short and Sean Masood, he just eats that. Lovely pull shot. And... Uh, oh, run out opportunity, run out opportunity. Sean Masood is not happy. Farhan is the man who threw the ball. And Sean Masood might have to walk back. Farhan's having a night out already. Sean Masood could see the ball hitting the stumps and he knew that he was out of uh, his crease. Losing their first wicket, Karachi Kings. Karachi losing their captain for 10. It's 19 for 1. Now oh, Vince underway with a nice boundary. Gets some width, puts it away. Four more, James Vince using his feet. Bowling in power play is not easy. The last one was really good. This time he was trying to mix it up. Gave a bit of more flight there. Right. Bowling this time, that's the top of off. That's what you're looking for. Hassan Bhatti picks up the wicket. Vince goes. 
you'll miss high hit. Wins just moving away too early. And before the bat came down, the off stump was gone. Lahore Kalandar and the Kalandars out in the aisles. Second wicket gone for Karachi. It's 27 on the board. Jahandad. Facing Shaheen. Oh, a little edge there, is there? A little edge there. Shea hopes convinced this time it's not bad on ground. And they will go upstairs. The voice of Alinda. We have a play review for nice and slow. Yes. yes. They are spiking one ball next to the back. Go back to one to the back. You need to rest your decision. You won't stay. Change of decision. That is another one in the book. Mamadak Luck goes for seven. 27 for three. What a shot. What a shot. Nawaz just creamed that one. Well, the umpire had to take evasive action there. Time beautifully, a little bit of width and pace on offer. Goes for the Yorker. Trademark Zaman Khan. And the Kalandas have four wickets in the power play. What a follow-up delivery. This is what Zaman Khan is known for. A bit casual shot from Nawaz. He's trying to target and this is a big wicket Karachi Kings are in trouble as Nawaz goes back on 15 44 for 4 George Linder then port and little period poor start short and wide and this is cut away for a boundary everybody is here 25,000 runs between these two what a way to get off the mark with a maximum, and the 50 is up. Yeah, I do back your point, Bish. These two are really good against spinners. And you can't go into the surface either. He's such a powerful man. With that length, it does not matter where your fielders are. Just line again, maybe slightly over-pitched, and this is... Fantastic timing. Serious timing from Shoaib Malik. Well, that's been hit hard. Rank full toss and Shoaib Malik all over it. 50 partnership up now of 38. Straight, powerful. Fielders are set straight though. That's not good work. Not good work, George Linder. Oh dear, you set straight. That is a pretty average piece of fielding. Got enough, he's got enough, he's got big boy power, has KP. And that has gone for six. This is the over that we've been looking for, the Karachi Kings. Straight down the ground and long from Pollard, finishes with just one hand on the bat. Back to back sixes, back to back scholarships. For that Yorker again, we talked about the length ball. Right in the slot for Karen Pollard. He, all he needs is one hand on the bat. Still he manages 96 meters. Yeah, just too close to him. It's really hard when... Hammers it down to long off. Corin Pollard with his 60th score of 50 or more in T20 cricket. Can he see the Karachi Kings home? It's 129 for four. Terrific 50, but the work is not done because Shaheen is back. And Shaheen goes back over his head. The power that he manages to generate with minimum effort is quite impressive. Oh, chance, chance, deep point coming in. Big chance, take on! Shaheen does it! Chain 
challenging match winning catch it was going quite comfortable for karachi kings in this wicket it changed the complex of the game good catch in the deep he had a bit of time got under it quite nicely and touched it beautiful 139 for 5 Shaheen Shah Afridi. He can create opportunities, he can take opportunities. The King's fans are stunned. Kalanda's fans are overjoyed. He's not believing in anyone else. Shaheen taking matters. Miscued short from uh, Shoe Malik. He had to run about 15 yards to his right. Lovely catch. Malik gone for 39, it's 143 for 6. Important runs. 29 more to get from 19, leg by signal. Karachi will take them however they come. In these two overs, that is a wonderful strike. Just giving himself a little bit of room and smashing it over mid-off. What a strike! Tradition of Pakistani Yorker bowlers with that slingy action. Zaman is the man, and now with a slingy action right on the money, just a perfect length, and knocking the stumps out. And you could hear the roar behind him. 158 for seven. In the gap. Oh, magnificent shot! Zaman didn't miss by much. It's four one six five for seven. It's Eleven from six. Hold on to your seats, folks. What a wonderful game this has turned out to be. He has hit it. He's hit it. He's hit it for six. Hassan Ali, the generator. Well, he's destroying the dreams of Lahore Kalanda in the slot. You all know he can hit long balls and no better time than this. Harris, 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 Harris takes it! He's hurt himself, Harris Ralph. He's looking to go for a glory, Hassan Ali mid-off. Back on the boundary, came in running. Got the catch there. And landed on the shoulder. And the ball stays in the hand. So that is a wicket. This game is still on. Hassan gone for nine, it's 175 for eight. One to get. It. It's gone! It's gone! And Karachi have won! What an encounter! What a game we've had here at the Gaddafi Stadium, thanks to that man, Tyron Pollard, and a 95-run partnership with Shoaib Malik. Down to the last ball. By two wickets, they can exhale now. This is HBL PSL action for you. Fourth time, they tried to defend and it didn't work. Pretty close to getting the super over in. This at the last second. Getting the edge, and getting a boundary and giving joy to the owners. Tough on the Lahore Kalandas. That's the story. Nothing on up front from the openers. Malik Crucial 39 crafted a partnership, important one with Pollard. 95 that was Pollard.
50 at just of 33, hitting crucial boundaries. Niazi 12 not out and Hamza with one. Niazi good healthy 12 runs and they've chased a thriller tonight at Gaddafi Stadium. Yeah, for the first time, Lahore Kalanda's ball, bowlers were spot on. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't really close it down, couldn't win this game. Chain picking a one, two for Zaman, two for Hassan. Little expenses, Jahandad, one for 44. So good to see Haris Rauf uh, getting his act right, getting his rhythm going. He was uh, one for 22. Well, well, we can breathe now. What tension. Kalanda is batting first again. They looked as though they would get well below that 175, but Fahan was tremendous in getting them there with a little help from Linda and Hope. Karachi Kings getting there off the last ball, 176 for eight, winning by two wickets.